Hey guys, welcome back to Glory Hunter episode 30 today and um, we're going to try and crack on and get quite a few games played. As you can see in the Serie A, it's still pretty tight. We're currently chasing into Milan who still lead the way but we kick off today's episode with a trip away to Venezia and we're just going to jump straight in as like I say we want to crack on with quite a few games in this one. All right then guys, so away at Venezia for this one and no Valentin gets the start against his former team. And we need to continue our winning form to make sure that we keep up the chase with Inter Milan currently at the top of the table. It would be brilliant if we can get Valentin a goal today against his former club. They're playing a pretty similar system to us, so it'll be interesting to see as they've kind of matched us up who comes out on top. On paper, you'd obviously say that we're stronger in pretty much every position, but that's why we love football, because you just never know. And here come Venezia. Inacio loses out, and Mendy's forced into an early save. But Venezia keeping up this early pressure. Ball's played inside, and Mendy, the second time of asking, gathers the ball. Again, slow start from us. His Inacio can bring it out of defence. Beats his man well and finds Valentin. Now there could be space on the other side, but the pass to Molina for once from Dybala is not great. Bit of a mess up at the back there. Valentin does score against his former club. He just knew it was coming. I kind of didn't really know what was going on there but as the keeper went to clear the ball he's kicked it against his teammate who's gone for the acrobatic clearance Pellegrini keeps it alive and Valentin does score Valentin gets his first goal in a Roma shirt and it's against his former club 1-0 come Venezia again and they've had a good spell before the goal and Mendy's forced into action again and we seem to be having a lot of games where we're not actually playing particularly well there's Valentin again into the penalty area hits it and the keeper saves at his near post and we'll go into the break at 1-0 but as I said a moment ago we've been we've been the second best team here but we seem to be finding a way that is what champions do to grind out results when we're not playing particularly well we lead 1-0 at half time Venezia again coming forward. They just haven't been able to find that goal as of yet. Cristante won't get there. Neither will Varane. There's a man in the middle and there is Venezia's goal. And it's been coming. A few of our defenders just get pulled out of position there. Varane first, then Mukieli, and it leaves a huge space in the middle of the six-yard box. I'm not sure who it was who finished it off, but it's a brilliant diving header, Superman header, no chance for Mendy, and it's 1-0. Will be kept alive here for Roma with Valentin. Through the gap to Pellegrini, pegged back to Dybala, and that's how dangerous this front line is. A late winner from Paolo Dybala, Valentin does well, Pellegrini takes it in his stride, burst past the defender, and as he rolls it back to Paolo, well, he was never going to miss, was he? fires it into that far corner and surely gives us the win here. No Valentin's return to Venezia is a happy one for him. Full time here, it is Venezia 1, Roma 2. Next up then is Bodo Glimt in the Champions League and they did beat Galatasaray 3-2 in the opening match day of the group. But I am actually going to sim this one. I'd like to think we can get the win away from home. And as excited as I am to be back in the Champions League, we have got a lot of games to get through this season. So we're going to sim this one as I feel like it's winnable. Chance for Bodo and they lead right before the half-time whistle. And we're behind again. It's got to be now. If we're going to find a goal, it has to be now. Nonto gets there. Nonto does level it up. Great substitution. 
And Nonto off the bench gets, I believe, his first goal of the season to level it up here. 1-1. And that will probably do it. We've not been very good in this one. And I'll definitely take the point considering how bad that we've played. It's one all. So back to matters in the league now. And it's our first clash of the season against Juventus. Where a win here will actually see us go top for the first time this season after Inter Milan drew and dropped points on match day seven. Big game here against Juve. Here's Cristante. Now Messi. Dybala takes a tumble. Messi against the former Real Madrid man, Militao. Great footwork by Lionel. Comes inside and hits it. Good save. Wanna play them by Dybala looking for Banyas. Might fall to Varane at the back post. I'm not sure that was on its way in. Dybala, clever play. It's Messi on his right foot. Paul Sezun I seem on into another save. Banyas this time gets the ball and looks to send us on the counter. Well they've gone for Dybala there and missed him. Cristante's on the overlap, but we know he's not the quickest. Peg back to Messi. Blocked. And now Pellegrini hits it, and again, Unai Simon is equal to it. It's Martins, who is one of those five subs. Looks to send it through to Nonto. Fired into Tammy. Shot comes in. Tammy again. Turned away by Unai Simon, who's been equal to everything that we've thrown at him. Corner comes in from Cristante. Inacio will attack it as well cleared only as far as Nonto back out to Cristante looking for Tammy at the back post and his header is weak that is a chance for Tammy and it's a nil-nil here in Rome it's a respectable point against one of our title rivals in Juventus but we were by far the better team here but despite all those chances we were unable to put the ball past Unai Simon and it does finish Roma nil, Juventus nil, on to the next one against Udinese. Well then guys, away at Udinese match day 8. They are currently sitting bottom of the league with only one point. We've got a big game uh, in midweek against Galatasaray away from home in Turkey. It's Moretti, looks to spread it out wide to Karsdorp. Tammy's coming in at the back post. Got a deflection and Silvestri saves, but it's early signs of what we're hoping is going to come in this game. Lots and lots of chances and goals. Messi gets it forward quickly to Nonto. His first start of the season. Nonto, brilliant save by Silvestri again. Should be one. Karlsdorp's header pushed over by Silvestri again. Lots of early chances coming in. I do remember Silvestri being a real pain to play against, so it's going to be fun trying to get the breakthrough in this one. Ravella, nice little back heel. Spin at Zola, hits it, and again, Silvestri pushes it behind. Same story. Herrera does brilliantly there. I normally include defensive highlights, but he's getting the start in this one. Actually, on the right side of the defence. Five-star weak foot for the young Ecuadorian. Messi now. Tammy's made a little run off the defender. Tammy Abraham, there's the goal. And that reminds me of the goal that he scored. I think it was away at Monza. It made it into one of the shorts. The ball was played to him by Dybala on that occasion. And just across the defender, hits it away from the goalkeeper into that far corner. And we've got the breakthrough now. Herrera does well again. Now he gets a bit of help from Spinazzola. Ball loses it in a dangerous position. Keepers come rushing out. And there is possibly just that little bit of inexperience from the young 16-year-old Herrera. First time they've been anywhere near our goal. It's a brilliant tackle. And actually the man does really well to square it across to the striker who taps it into what is an open net. It's one all here and that is completely against the run of play. Hanko does well to win the ball back and can stride forward out of defence. He's got big long strides Hanko. Has Nonto with him, brilliant pass and Nonto drills it wide of the post. 
Should be 2 1 that. Brilliant from Hanko, the centre back, and Nonto just drags it wide. Nonto looks to turn on it. Good defending. Keep that pressure alive, though. Brilliant take by Spinazzola. See Tammy at the back stick. Abraham, and there's our second, and we're back in the lead. Tammy Abraham with the header, but all in the assist from Spinazzola, and that's why we've kept him at the club this year. Want that experience down that left-hand side. Providing that experience and knowledge for Destiny, who will be the long-term successor, but Tammy Abraham rises highest, heads it past Silvestri, and this time the keeper can't get there. Back in the lead at 2-1. Well, Parto sends it down to Nonto. Now it's Moretti, doesn't score many. And again, Silvestri pushing it behind the post. It's his signature move. Moretti's corner, looking for Abraham who gets there before the keeper. Cannons off the crossbar. I thought the keeper was going to come and just gather. Oh, Tammy should have won that. I thought the keeper was just going to gather it, but didn't get there. And now Cali Muendo tried to go for the foul and it's over Mendy and it's going to be 2-2 here. And Cali Muendo has his second of the game. We cannot slip up here. Tried to take him out with Herrera. Hanko couldn't get there. And as I started to bring Mendy out, he was always going to go over him. And just nestles in the back of the net. We really need to find a goal to take us back into the lead here. Because we cannot drop points against bottom. Here's Ravella from the edge of the box. Saved and this time held on to by Silvestri. And he's starting to frustrate us again. Volparto now. Great acceleration from Christian Volparto and he gets the shot all wrong. Now here's Volparto. Oh, somehow gets the ball through to Dybala. Looks for Valentin and no Valentin off the bench fires it in. We take the lead for the third time in this game and with only six minutes to play, will Udinese have time to find a route back into it again? And Valentin slams it home past Silvestri at the near post. It's the power that beat him. He nearly gets a hand to it. But Valentin restores our lead with his second goal of the season. There is no time for a third Udinese equaliser. And we made hard work of it. But we do get the three points to keep up the pressure on Inter Milan. You can see from the match stats, we absolutely dominated. They only had the two shots on target. We had 14 and a 4.4 XG with 61% of the ball. Fair to say if we'd not won that, I would have been very, very frustrated. All right, back to matters in the Champions League here. Galatasaray have sort of been the whipping boys in the group so far. We've made a few changes, but Herrera remains in the team to make his Champions League debut. We've got another game in just a few days' time, so we've got to keep rotating the side, keeping everybody fit. But I am confident that the side we've put out can perform and get the victory. Here's the cross into Martins, and it's an early goal. And the front two, Nonto and Jonathan Martins. Not a duo that you've seen too often this season, but linking up early on here, Nonto's pace down the left-hand side dinks it into the middle and Martins lets it go across his body and drills it back across the keeper. No chance for him and we take the lead again in the Champions League. Now Martins looking for Messi who gets there. Brilliant ball control. Finds Nonto. Cuts inside. Nonto pushed behind by the keeper. Boy, Banyas does really well to step in there. Now it's the captain, Pellegrini. Not seen much of him. Monto's asking for it, but won't get it just yet. Martins, man over Spinazzola. Leonardo looks to pull it across, and it's going to be an own goal. Spinazzola runs off claiming it, but it definitely will not be his. The Galatasaray fans won't be happy that it's come so late in the half, but turned into his own net by uh, Frances as he tries to clear the ball from Messi who's behind him and 2-0 before the break should see us pick up the three points here Vega does well to get away from his man now into Martins, balls on to Nonto through the middle, Nonto it's three 
and now it most certainly is game brilliant build up started from Spinazzola in the right wing back position and finished off by Nonto 3-0 game over Vega through to Spinazzola now Valentin into Volpato has Nonto with him squares it across and this time Nonto does have his brace couldn't finish earlier on his left does now on his right and he's been brilliant today two goals and an assist for Nonto Pabega's corner into the near post for Volpato what a header that is from the young man Christian Volpato it's a late rally it's 5-0 this one definitely is worthy of a re replay Pabega swings it into that near post gets up above his man loops it up over the corner into the side netting in the inside of the goal this is a lovely angle for it fantastic header over the top of the keeper and that is five and i said galatasaray i've been the whipping boys and they've been absolutely destroyed here in turkey there it is five nil clean sheet for mendy in the champions league and another for herrera marshalled by 40 year old tiago silver in the heart of that defense you just absolutely love to see it all right then guys as we jump into a sim here against spezia before the final game of the episode here's volpato pellegrini makes it one nil of Alparto on the edge of the box who hits it and this man is in some fine form at the moment Christian Volparto two goals in two gives us a two goal lead against Spezia here fantastic start to this match and it could get even better Dybala is three we are just so lethal in these sim games you saw us win 5-1 against Empoli I think in the previous episode we're 3-0 up here inside half an hour against Spezia could be a chance for four and it is is that Fabio Moretti it is I think that is his first goal of the season there it is guys it's a 4-0 victory and it is very comfortable we're just so clinical as well you see there six shots four chances 4-0 victory you love to see it keeping up that pressure on Inter Milan all right then guys here we go last game of the episode we are away to napoli and we've got quite a decent record against them throughout the save so far and we're pretty much as as strong as we can be in this one so hoping to get another win as we need to once again make sure we keep up the pace with inter at the top of the table here's tammy little back hill pellegrini good save should probably be 1-0 there. Here's Dembele. Doesn't have a lot of support and loses out, but Fabinho wins it back. Fabinho again. Great interception by Nasio. Now Fabinho's out of position. Can we exploit the space? Tammy away from Zubamendi easily. Leaves him in the dust. Tammy. Abraham puts it wide. Huge chance again that we've spurned. Pellegrini on the slide does well. Pabega. Pellegrini just looks to roll it into Tammy. And this time he does score on the left foot. Takes it first time. And I don't know what it is about playing Napoli. But we just always perform against them. Pabega does well to win the head up. Pellegrini rolls it into Tammy. And it's a great strike into that far corner. That angle from behind the goal really does it justice. Really gets some power behind it. Vega, just so much space for us to play in here. Dybala has Molina on the overlap. And Molina, good save by the keeper. That's a good ball down the line to Dembele, who's goal side of Inacio here. Does well to get back. Still the chances alive for Napoli. Great ball inside and Mendy's called into action to keep out Claret Skellia. Just having a word with his defenders as well. That'll be Mendy's. And we will go into the break with a goal advantage here. Carrying on our good form. And hopefully we'll see it out in the second half. Good build up from Napoli this. Looking to get Barrett Skellier in. Goes for the chip. 
didn't really have the angle for it and Mendy sees it over the top of his goal but they, they are playing some good football Napoli here's Tammy driving forward might be time for some changes again I see Martins on the run should be able to get away from Joel Matip Martins saved again by Bono and we just cannot kill this one off you can see my reaction on the sidelines it tells you everything Greenies ball in into Mukieli. What a header! And Bono again manages to keep it out. Pellegrini again, a little bit deeper this time. We're up again. It's Mukieli every time from these corners. And Bono denies us. Great football. Nonto. Oh, he took too long to pull the trigger. Now there could be space for Napoli. Mendy told to stay they've kept the chance alive and Mendy tips it wide of the post that's a huge save from Mendy there now Volpato looking over the top for Nonto they're pretty slow at the back looking for Tammy and it's saved by Bono again we've seen some great goalkeeper performances in this episode Silvestri of Udinese but Bono is up there today with the performances he's pulling out. Well, Parto can't get there. Cristante with a really important interception. Pellegrini's run into trouble now. Just keep the ball, lads. Dembele. Oh, no, not like this. Dembele equalises in stoppage time. And we are going to drop points and Inter are going to pull away from us. Great build-up, and Moussa Dembele just finds a bit of space and was never going to miss the target from there. And that really is frustrating, because we should have killed this game off. Nonto looking to run straight through from the kick-off. Fouled but not given by the ref, and there is the full-time whistle, and that is so frustrating. It's not even necessarily a bad result against another team who will be up there and okay maybe they deserved more credit than I'm giving them but I feel like we had the better chances in that one it does finish one all and I know that Inter have won so they're going to be two points clear at the top of the league at the end of this episode well then guys to end off the episode you can see the full league table here after 10 games played in the Serie A after that draw against Napoli as I said it does mean that Inter pull two points clear of us and they've just scored so many goals this year we've both only conceded six but 28 scored for Inter they've just beaten Monza by four goals to one we're still only four points clear of Milan and it's pretty tight below us in the table as well but as I say at the moment it looks like ourselves and Inter who will be going for the title but that will do it for today's video guys I hope you have enjoyed we managed to get quite a few games into this one so it might be a little bit longer than usual I hope you do enjoy that and I will catch you for some more Glory Hunter very soon. Peace.